if you can hear the heavy rain outside my window, I apologize. I can't get rid of that background noise, it's just, it is what it is. So, for this game right here, Vancouver vs. LA, I was, t I was tired. I took a nap. Right when the game started, I was like, okay, this Boston and Ottawa game is coming to an end, and the Vancouver Canucks are gonna start playing. I'll just lie down for a little bit and get up, and before I knew it, I woke up right before Besser's first goal. I woke up and we were on the power play, and I was like, oh no, what happened? And I looked at the score, and I was like, whoa, it's, it, it's four, four goals, whoa, what's going on? And then I looked at the time, and it was like, 16 minutes remaining in the second period, and I was like, whoa, whoa, what? What? We got four goals in the span of 24 minutes? So, quickly, I, I, I watched, I got up, got out of my bed and everything, I watched Besser backhand this loose puck in, and I was happy because I was like, yo, I just woke up and Besser scored, that's awesome. Then I checked the rest of the game, and I saw this. One minute and two seconds in, Louis Erickson from Vanek. Three minutes and 50 seconds in, Louis Erickson from Horvat. Five minutes and 49 seconds in, Vanek from Erickson. Eight minutes and one second in, Los Angeles gets back. And ten minutes and two seconds into the first period, Sven Berchi on the power play from Vanek and Michael Delzato. We got four goals in ten minutes from the Canucks. Three goals in the first six minutes, two goals in two minutes. And I missed it. I missed it, and I, I'm, I don't know if I forgive myself or not, but this game, two goals for Erickson, two goals for Besser, and a player who I really think deserves mega props in this game was Bo Horvat. Not just because he got two assists, but because a healthy, motivated Bo Horvat it's so it's, it's it's so helpful for the team and you can just watch it this game was so strong let's go over each of the goals the first goal of the game louis erickson a minute in this one this one could have gone in it could have not have gone in i i thought this one was just lucky overall because quick makes the save and the puck is just trickling it's trickling and then because snow is a thing it kind of like stops before crossing the goal line and then before anybody can get it it gets poked in and that's a goal that one i was like okay that could have gone either way just be happy because we got one on the board erickson it's his first goal in rogers arena according to like the commentator since like last year's january or something that's incredible but just a few Minutes later, he gets himself another one, Bo Horvat, with a really good cross-body backhand pass right from the middle over to the side, and Erickson flicks it up over the down-and-out quick. I Absolutely great play. Really good play by Erickson to set up Horvat in the middle. Fantastic awareness from Horvat. Toe drags it right by the defender, backhands it back over to Erickson. Erickson has got two points, and he adds to that a little bit later. Throws it up from the Canuck zone, right through two back-checking LA Kings, right through over to Thomas Vanek. Vanek, he's got a break, and right as he enters the zone, he skates a little bit, winds up, slaps it off the post and in, and he does a really sweet-looking Selly. He, like, gets the foot up a little bit, kind of, like, moves the arms. It was just, like, you could tell the dude was in it, and he just loved it. And that was such a great play. The first three goals, the first six minutes of this game, Louis Erickson is at three points and Vanek is at two. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Thomas Vanek doesn't keep himself off the score sheet for long, though, because with his third point of the game, second assist, and he sets up Sven Berchi on the power play. Throws it out in front. Berchi is there. Shoots it on goal. Grabs his rebound. Backhands it in. Pass quick. And it's 4-1. 4-1 Vancouver. Basically after 10 minutes in the first period. That's crazy. And right as the second period starts, I, I mean, I, I'm still sleeping at this point. Then the Kings get another penalty shortly later. And Brock Besser. This is Besser's first goal in a long time. It's his first goal since January 6th against the Toronto Maple Leafs in Toronto. 
He hasn't scored a goal in that amount of time, and now he's got one. Backhands it in on the power play. Awesome. And at this point, I'm like freaking out because I, I just woke up. I just saw this goal. I go onto Twitter and I complain about it. I'm like, yo, I just woke up. I missed four goals. What the heck? And then everyone was like, yo, you just missed the best period this season for the Canucks. Needless to say, I'm disappointed about that, but admittedly, I did need to rest. But regardless, it was still a really good period, according to what I heard. Then... Canucks take a penalty right after, Kopitar gets the Kings back on the board for a second time. This one was just like, yeah, you could see it coming from a mile away. And then Brock Besser, a little bit later, he draws himself another power play. He gets shoved right into the boards, and it's at this point that the referees are like, okay, yeah, here's another Vancouver power play, but Besser got hurt, so you can't play Besser right at the beginning. And they forced Besser onto the bench. So what do they do? Canucks get control of the puck, and right after they get control, Horvat skates off. Horvat skates off, allows Besser to come right back on. They feed it over to Besser. Besser, right at the point, circles in, comes right in, slaps it down, far side. Daniel Sedin screams, and it's another goal. It's the ultimate, like, screw you goal to the refs. And he didn't even sell it after. So, Brock Besser with his second of the game, and his second goal since January 6th. Really, it, it, I just freaked out. I, I watched this one, and I screamed, and I was really happy. And everybody was freaking out because they were like, yo, who's going to get the hat trick first? Is it going to be Erickson or Besser? Needless to say, none of these guys got a hat trick, and we ended off with a 6 2 win. LA actually got another one, but it was called off because of goaltender interference, which I, I, I agreed with that call. But I want to talk about this game a little bit because this is just what happens when we have a strong, motivated club. And Bo Horvat is a player who I really think deserves credit here because watching this guy play, a lot of the things that he was doing with the puck, a lot of his skating maneuvers and everything... They were all things that we haven't been seeing recently. And I mean that in a way because Horvat's skating is legitimately like the best skating on the team. And his ability to like be aware of things, it's strong. It's really strong. And if you combine that with his already phenomenal skating, it, it provides for really good opportunities and things that we haven't seen before. Because Horvat, he just came back. We're not used to seeing Horvat dancing around players like he sort of was tonight. We're not seeing... This was the first game in a while where we've actually seen Horvat play such a strong game, and it was reflected in this performance here. He got himself two assists. That's good. And the rest of the team, man, they're, they did put up a good amount of points. Besser with two goals. Eriksson with three points. Vanek with three points. Berchi with a goal. Horvat, two assists. And Gagne with an assist as well. Even the defenders, Edler, got himself compensation for the last game, two assists in this one, and he's closer and closer to becoming the all-time Canucks point-scorer defenseman leader. And that's awesome. Taking a look at this game individually, Brock Besser didn't actually climb the goal-scoring charts. He got himself two goals today, which, if you're looking at the beginning of today, would have actually had him tied with Nathan McKinnon with 24 goals for 7th place in the league, However, McKinnon scored a goal against Montreal today, so he is now tied with William Carlson for 6th. Besser is in sole possession of 7th in NHL goals, with 24 in 45 games. And that is beautiful! Looking at this, he's on pace to becoming the first Vancouver Canucks 30 goal scorer since Radim Verbata. Like, when, like <laughs> that's crazy, man. We haven't had a 30 goal scorer since... Verbata. It feels bad, but now that we got this sniper on our team, a right-handed sniper who, I mean, it probably feels a little bit familiar to some of you guys, but he's effective, and he's finally getting back on the score sheet. One of the things I wanted to talk about too was a point that one of the analysts made on the period intermissions, talking about how Besser was in a slump, when really, if you take a look at the stats, Besser got himself a goal and two assists in his past nine games. That's three points in nine games. Which, 
If you're an NHL player, three points in nine games, okay, that's a point every three games. That's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. But because it's Brock Besser, and because the expectation for Besser is already so high, because he has raised that bar to an insane level that we could not have predicted at the beginning of the season, this just feels so good. He got two goals today. He's finally back at the pace that we expected him to be at, let's say, a month ago. Because if I said at the beginning of the season, that would be incorrect. At the beginning of the season, people were saying maybe Besser needs AHL time. But no, after his absolutely fire first few months, this little slump of three points in nine games feels bad, even though it's not really bad. A point every three games is pretty good, actually. But for Brock Besser, for us fans watching Brock Besser, oh man, it sucks. It's a slump. But he gets himself two today, and we're happy. Erickson also got two as well, which... Nobody's really talking about as much, because <laughs> it's Ericsson. But he deserves props too. He got himself three points as well. That's awesome. And this game was fun to watch, man. Oh uh, man, it was so good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for posting Nashville Shorts like Nashville Gaming, and bye.